correlation regression. Now, this is how to find the least linear regression equation. This is called by different things, but the key part is you have the word regression in there somewhere, and you either have equation or line. Sometimes it's called least squares regression line. Um, so different different names for it, but same idea. So let's find the linear regression equation of this data. So let me go enter it in the calculator. Uh, if you're not at your application library, you can press your apps to get back there. And you want to go in the statistics toolbar. So if it isn't already highlighted, you use your arrow keys to highlight it, and then you press enter. And if you have any numbers here, you can press your delete key to clean it, clean them out one by one. And I'm um, gonna put in my x values. So one, enter, two, enter, three, four, five, six and 7. I'm going to right arrow over to C2 and put in my Y values. So I got 12, 31, 45, 46, 51, 55, and 73. And let me double check my numbers. That looks good. Now if I go into stats, um, if I choose column and choose 2, this first gives you your R and um, also gives you R squared. I'm going to click OK there. And um, to get to the, the linear regression equation, you go into the symbolic here. And um, S1 should be highlighted or checked. If it isn't, uh, you can click this check mark right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check that. This should be C1, C2. This is where you put your X values. This is where you put your Y values. If it doesn't say C1, you can press your C button here, put 1 in, and then press Enter. Now you want this to be linear. So if it isn't, then you do the drop down and choose linear. And um, you see that after I do that, that it, um, it changes this. So M times X plus B. Now I'm definitely not uh, an expert at HP Prime. Um, I mainly teach with the TA3, TA4, so there's probably an easy way to get this to update. But I find if I go to the numeric view and I come back to the, uh, I'm gonna go to plot first. Go to plot, and then go to symbolic. Then it puts the um, least squares regression line in there. Um, there's probably again a, a easier way to get that to show up, but um, I just start click plot I guess and then symbolic so our answer to this problem is y and usually it's y hat equals 8.46 x plus 10.86 and that would be our uh, least squares regression line let me um write that out and I should have had my tablet cleaned off <laughs> got a bunch of junk on it okay the microphone. There we go. So our answer to this problem is y hat 8.46 x plus 10.86. Now in theory, if you're going to do anything else with this least squares regression line, you should not round it. When you start rounding early on in your problem, then you have errors accumulate. And if you de if you are going to round and you do something with it, at least take it probably to five decimal places. Um, but anyway, that's our least squares regression line. Oh, and um, I should show one last thing. <laughs> to graph it, um, you click plot, and you can only see your points on there, but you see that least squares regression line. And if you don't see it, if you press menu, if you press uh, the fit, That'll put the line on there for you. And again, symbolic takes you back there.